Let's do this. Hi, we're Jackie and Bobby Angel with Ascension Presents, and today we're going to talk quickly about how what has helped us in discernment when it came to relationships or jobs or vocation, some of the things that we learned along the way or, or things that helped us or were helpful indicators for us making a big decision. In my life, I see the common thread is always that I start, whether it's a job or relationship, I'll start to feel this anxiety or this pit in my stomach. Um, I experienced this when I was um, at a job as a youth minister and uh, I just every day when I was going to work I had this pit in my stomach and I felt like God was going to bring something to help me move from that job and I was like okay God where, where are you calling me to and of course like I brought it to prayer I was going to daily mass um, praying reading scripture and you know just like trying to wait for God and sure enough um, I felt like and through other like spiritual direction and sh through some mentors felt like God was calling me to do full-time traveling ministry, uh, music ministry, and speaking. And it was kind of like a leap of faith, though, because I was like, dang, I have to move back home. I have to move back with my parents. And um, But immediately when I quit that job, I felt peace and joy. I exp and get peace and joy are fruits of the Spirit. And so um, if you are in the right place, you will experience that peace and that joy. Now, I will say some girl said to me, she's like, she has general anxiety disorder and um, that's like 20% of people uh, statistically have a, some kind of anxiety. So that pit in the stomach, anxiety, you're, you'll are you have to learn how to discern differently. I asked the girl, she needs to write a blog for me, like how do you discern when you have general anxiety disorder? Well, yeah, like uh, kind of mental anxiety versus spiritual anxiety. Yeah, it's not the same thing. Exactly. So again, discernment, we mean like a big decision, not should I go to the bathroom? or not, or should I turn the light bulb on or not? If you like, don't go to the bathroom, that will create problems. Yeah, so. like these are uh, discernment, <laughs> you discern something that's like a big, something big, a move, um, a college decision, a relationship, vocation, state, and life. Um, and sometimes there's multiple options that are both good. They should be both good. And that's what makes it tough. That's what makes it like, yeah. this, this is not a clear cut thing. Sometimes God makes it clear in that um, door shut and I don't get into this school, or this person dumps me, or sometimes there's a clear, this is not the right path. God delights when we mature, and we use our brains, and we go out on our own, and we trust. It, it, does, it tips the hat to God to say, I trust that you have my back, mm -hmm. even though I don't know where this road is going. Um, and I'll adapt along the way if need be. Um, feedback from other people, because I think sometimes when there's big decisions, some of us are tempted to just keep it inside. Some of us talk a lot, and and everyone knows everyone's business. Not me. <laughs> I bottle it all up. And so if you're the kind of just ways of the stuff all in your head, you need to get it out and bounce it off with trusted friends, yeah. mentors, coaches, priests, to be to see like, am I seeing all the angles of this? Am I overthinking it? Because sometimes, yeah, we we think a thing to death, and we're afraid to make a move, and it just it's safer up here, but that to not make a decision just keep up here is to make a decision is a decision of inaction in, yeah. in the business world it's called analysis paralysis where i have and I'm, I'm analyzing everything to the point where i am afraid to make a move i'm afraid to make a mistake maybe i'm afraid to succeed father mike has an expression that uh, clarity will follow action and hmm. in putting thing in emotion whether that's pursuing a school a relationship or getting engaged being engaged i think there's a temptation too to think like god is some mathematical equation to figure out and then like it's, if i've fallen in love with mm -hmm. the lord and i want to serve him and i, I want to go all in but we, then we get neurotic and i need to figure it out otherwise i'm going to choose the wrong thing and ruin my life and everything and again god delights when we go out and and trust him with our lives our, our careers our finances um, it's not a problem to be solved. Yeah, it's a it's a mystery to be lived. It's an adventure. It's an adventure. And Although I will say, we know some personalities struggle with that more than others. Sure, and that's some days I would again in discerning um, religious life in in, in the co in what what to major in, what where to work uh, after college. Like, there's days where it's exciting and awesome, and then there's days where the melancholic kicks in and woe is me and this is torment and, and why won't God just tell me blatantly and, and like not really how he works and it's also not on our timeline it's on his and so 
we may feel like we're just kicking a can down the road in, in a state of limbo, but God is doing slow work in us each day. And the challenge is to stay in the present moment and say, God, how am I, how do I need to grow and develop right here, right now in this moment? And then when whatever is ready, whatever door is ready to open, like I'll be ready instead of just sitting here in my living room waiting and hoping the Kool-Aid man will crash through the wall and God will tell me, oh yeah. So exciting news on this end, if you're in the, in the midst of a big decision or someone you know and love is, is going to be making these big decisions soon, we wrote a book. Oh. Where'd that come Father Mike from? Father Mike Schmitz from Essential Presents. So we, this book has wisdom from the saints, from scripture, testimonies from me, Jackie, and Father Mike. And uh, it's near and dear to the heart because this was many years in the making. Me really like uh, wanted to, we wanted to do something that would have helped us as young 20 year olds. Um, Cause and, this is something we get asked a lot. Oh yeah, and I see it, I, I see it a mile away when, when college students and young adults are struggling to figure out what God wants. And I was in that same spot and I, we really wanted to put a resource together and it's a beautifully made inside and out book that um, Ascension will be coming out with very soon. God wants us to be free and jo and full of joy and peace and and then don't worry like our, our call is to be with him and the sermon and all, and all this is how we get there uh, but he's guiding all things he knows you he loves you like uh, have peace in that he's got a plan for you and uh, we can we can cooperate with that for a rich and full life so go get a copy at ascensionpress.com for you for a friend you know for maybe a boyfriend or girlfriend, like hint, hint, make a decision. Um. <laughs> From all of us at Ascension Presents, God bless.